get in trouble. <laughs> no.
Sergeant Gonzalez is on the other side. He's on the other side? Yeah. Place him on this side or? Uh, so currently today we're conducting a force protection exercise combined with a mass casualty exercise and the point of that was that we're trying to test across the entire base our systems and how we respond to incidents and ensure that we have all the proper procedures in place for us to be able to respond to an incident such as this and be able to take care of our soldiers and get them the treatment uh, as quickly as we can and make sure that we can also contain any threats that have been identified in the base. So it's very important um, as we know there, there's always a possibility for an event to occur on the base and if we don't exercise these systems there's a possibility that when the event actually occurs that we're not going to necessarily know the exact uh, procedures to, to, uh, to take when an incident occurs. When we do operations like this, we get everyone actually out and actually working through their battle drills and their procedures, testing those in an actual environment, which allows us, one, to understand what our procedures are, but then, two, to be able to make improvements so that, you know, God forbid this actually does happen, that we're able to respond to it in an effective manner. So as you can uh, look around, uh, there is soldiers from multiple nations and every service of the U.S. Uh, military that are currently out here participating in this exercise, uh, as well as all of the, uh, the civilian personnel that work on this base and uh, the contracted personnel that work here as well. So once we noticed when this incident occurred, you know, we had a combination of Bosnian, Romanian, uh, Czech, U.S., and uh, Georgian soldiers that all responded to the incident. We had a combination of Air Force, Navy, and Army Marine personnel that were also responded to this incident. And they all came together, they all worked, and we're all, you know, one team uh, trying to get the security, or trying to improve the security on this base and ensure that we're all safe. So, for me personally, uh, I, I feel very confident having watched this. The response was amazing by our soldiers on this base. Uh, they did a great job and responded to the exercise. And within minutes, we had casualties that were being treated and evacuated from the site. It was very well done. And overall, you know, I'm, I'm just really proud of uh, the efforts that everyone showed today and how seriously they took this exercise and overall just how well they did. So the, uh, the intent behind that is we're never going to really have forewarning when exercise is going to occur. So we're not going to be able to effectively test our systems unless we do it without any notice. So today, just like a real incident, there was no notice. It immediately started and then we watched the reaction. And like I said before, the soldiers and uh, airmen, sailors, and all of our coalition partners responded uh, very well to that. So uh, today's events are important. Uh, it's important to do exercises, which is basically a battle drill. We want to see what, how people react, how soldiers react, and uh, today, today we're getting a good gauge on uh, where we stand on that. Yeah, so uh, today we had a lot of forces out here. Uh, we had the Bosnians, the Czechs are out here, and uh, of course U.S. Army out here, and also Marines. Uh, they've, most of them are MPs, security forces coming around here. To me it's important, I feel, I'm happy. I'm glad I was chosen to be a part of this. Uh, that way I can uh, take some, make some good AAR comments for the command team so they can eventually make their decisions on where do, where do we go, uh, the, the way ahead from here.